Good morning, guys. It's Monday the 22nd. Welcome to a new week. Let's get off to a right start and we'll do some squatting for today. So today, the RX version of what you're doing today is Karin. So Karin is one of our benchmark workouts and it's 150 war balls. 150 war balls, as many reps as you can, unbroken, complete the reps. So to scale it down today, we're still doing air squats, but we may have to change the movement slightly just to get that required amount of stimulus. The big thing with the wall ball is normally a squat, and it's a press and explosive to the hip, shoot the arms, throw the ball up the wall, catch the ball back down. So if you don't, if you have a wall ball, you can actually use the wall ball, do 150 wall balls, one big set, as many as you can, as fast as you can, probably take you between three and five minutes, okay? Depending on how good your legs are, how good your wall balls are. If you don't have a wall ball, we have three different options for you today. First option, number one, is to do 100 air squats and burpees. So one air squat, one burpee equals one reps, and you do that 100 times. It's gonna be awesome. Who doesn't wanna do 100 burpees and air squats together? Option number two is to do 100 squat jumps, okay? So a wall ball, there's almost a jump in your wall ball. So if you wanna scale this up to 150 squat jumps, you can scale it up, it'll burn in the legs for sure, okay? But it'll be 150 jumping squats, workout done, boom. Okay, five minutes, work done. Or you can scale it down to 100 reps. Option number three is to just do normal air squats, 150 air, air squats. Again, if you need to scale that down, you can scale the reps. So air squat to burpees, squat jumps, or air squats. And then whatever you need to do, you can scale the reps. The RX of this today, so the prescribed workout is 150 repetitions. So you can either do 150 reps or you can scale it down to 100 reps. You can even scale it down to 75 or 50 reps if you need to scale it down. Okay, obviously the less conditions you are, then preferably the less reps you're gonna do. All right, guys. So let's check out. First option, we're gonna do an air squat. So what you're looking for on the air squat, feet shoulder apart, knees nice and deep, get the hips down. Hup, press, one. Two, three, air squats. Second option, okay, you're gonna do well. You can do 150 or 100 or 75 of your air squats. Second option is jump squat. Exactly the same movement, air squat. Hop, jump, hop, jump. Two, three, four, five. And you're gonna keep on going as many reps as you can until you bench just like, oh, the legs. And you're gonna shake the legs out and then you're gonna do another 20 or 30 reps until, oh, the legs. And then you're gonna do rest a little bit, shake the legs out, do as many, as little reps, as, as little sets as possible. Try and do your reps as big a reps as possible, both with the air squats and with the jumping squats. Try not to break them up too much. The job is to try and take as big a chunks out at a time as possible. Last one is gonna be air squats to burpees. So from there, it's gonna be an air squat, burpee, Air squat, burpee, air squat, burpee, air squat. And we're doing 100 of those. Yay! How much fun is that? Okay. You can do the air squat with a kickback. So air squat, kickback, air squat, kickback. It's fun as well. Yay. Okay guys, choose your workout or choose your poison. It's short and fast today. Five minutes, maybe seven minutes top it's gonna to take you to get it done. Enjoy the workout, get the week off to a bang. Stick with us, let's go through the warm up. Okay guys, so five minute warm up, run, row, skip. Burpees if you want to do, jumping jacks if you want to do that. Warming up, five minutes, get the heart rate up. Then we do a bit of a ninja flow. Okay, so we're gonna get the hips warm, shoulders warm. Then we're gonna do two to three rounds. We're gonna do a long lunge stretch, we're gonna do a warrior stretch, and we're gonna do some wall squats. So our ninja flow, it's gonna look something like this. All right, so we're gonna start in a kneeling position. From there, and what we do is we call the scoopity scoop. So we're gonna turn this hand in, we're gonna press out, we're gonna stretch the shoulder up. And again, you're going to feel a little bit of a stretch to the front of the shoulder girdle. Make sure that you keep that shoulder safe as you twist and turn. From there, hand comes in, scoop through, up, look in the opposite direction, one. Hand comes in, scoop through, up, <coughs> two, other shoulder, press through, three, other shoulder, press through. Oh, just do two reps. Then we're going to do this one side, reach through, one, two, stretch, up and towards the ceiling, one. 
three again. One, two, three. Towards the ceiling. One, two, three. Other side. Press through. One, two, three. Towards the ceiling. One, two, three. Reach through. The side, one, two, three. So you're doing two reps on each side. Then we're gonna do a bit of like a scorpion sting. Hands out to the side. Okay, from the side, one leg's gonna come up. You're gonna kick up and you're gonna stretch across the hips. Make sure the low back stays safe. Touch, one, two, three, one. Other side, kick up, across, one, two, three, back. The trick is to try and get this foot to almost touch the hands. Leg comes up, touch, up, one, two, Back, uh, leg back across, touch, one, two, three. Two to each side of those. Then from there, we're going to almost do like a push back. We're going to reach the leg through, and we're going to try and kick it behind us, but we're going to keep both hands on the floor to keep the shoulder safe, okay? So from there, hips through, you're going to push back, you reach one leg through, you're going to open up, one. Other leg reach through, open up. Two, reach leg through, up and up. Three, reach leg through, up and up. Four, okay. So it takes a bit of work in the hips, takes a bit of work in the back. If that movement isn't comfortable for you, then we do this. And bring one leg up into the air, foot leg nice and straight, hands nice and wide, get a touch aside, up, come back up, and back down one, other leg comes up. Across the side, keep the leg as hard as you can. Touch. <sighs> Two, other side. Keep the leg high, don't let the leg drop as you come to the side. So keep that height. Across the side, up. Touch. Back to side, and then the other side. Those are your options instead of doing your scorpion sting in the back and the side. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna go into your long lunge sequence, your warrior stretch, and your wall squats. So first one, long lunge sequence. You're gonna step through. So you're gonna keep a nice long lunge position. Back leg's gonna be straight and knee's gonna be off the floor, okay? So it's gonna be in this position here. You're gonna hold. You're gonna bring one elbow towards the floor. One. And to the side. And elbow down. Two. Elbow down. Three, a little bounce at the bottom. Elbow down. Four, you do six of those. Change other side. Let's pick up. Up and down. Do it. Up and down. Do it. And take your time at the top and the bottom. Get as much drop into this hip, into the glutes as you can. As much rotation to the hips as you can. That's gonna be your long lunge sequence. All right, so the next one we're gonna go into an alternating warrior pose. So we're gonna start into that squat position. We're gonna drop those hips down as deep as you can and keeping the hips dropping down, we're gonna try and push those knees open as much as possible. So hips are down, knees are open, hands on top of the, on top of the, uh, top of the foot and we're gonna rotate to the sides from there. Hop, one, two, three, back down, pull. Hop, press, one, two, three, back down. Hop, press, one, two, Three, and every rep, you're trying to push those knees up and drop the hips down, and then turn more at the top. One, two, three, back down. Okay, and we're doing, say, six reps each side, or three reps, no, probably about six reps each side. Last one, we're gonna do a wall squat. It's gonna look like this. So what we're doing with your wall squat is we're gonna try and keep those hands into an overhead position as much as possible, with the back straight and the hips pressing backwards. So you're gonna start from a further away, you can start a little bit away from the wall, arms in an overhead position, and you're gonna press your hips back, keep those arms locked out straight. So from there, press backwards, hips press back, press back, press back, press back, press back, press back, and press back up. If you haven't got great shoulder mobility, then take your hands a little bit wider. Press back, up, press back, press back, press back, press back. So the weight's on the heels, press. If you can do that, get a little bit closer to the wall. Hands wide. Press back, press back, press back, press back, press back, press. If you can do that, bring your arms overhead. Press, 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 hips back. Press, and you're slowly gonna work your way all the way to the wall, inch by inch, until eventually, toes are almost on the wall, hips back, arms overhead. Press back, press back, press back, press back. Press back, hips nice and deep, press. 
Even more. Press back, press back, press back, press back, press back, press back, press back. And you slowly but surely walk your way to the wall. Focus on going slowly. Focus on pressing back into the hips. Focus on keeping those arms locked out as much as possible with a nice straight back. And those are your wall squats. Okay guys, so we do a little bit of shoulder prep work. So we haven't got a lot of shoulder work in the workout today, but we do want to continue to work on mobility even on days that we don't necessarily need it for the workout because it's doing that mobility on the days that we don't need to that actually gets us better, okay? So we do some lying internal external ro ro uh, ro shoulder rotations we did at the end of last week, and we do some T-split T-spine rotations that we did at the end of last week as well. So just to remind you what we did, so you're starting in a side lying position, all right, knees are gonna come up if you want, all right, just to get a nice comfortable position. And what I'm looking for, oh, sorry, this side, this elbow's gonna work. So I'm keeping this elbow at 90 degrees and I'm bringing this elbow up to 90 degrees here. All right, so 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I'm gonna do an external rotation there. So I'm trying to work my rotation through my shoulder there. That's normally pretty good, normally pretty easy for most of you. And in this position here, keeping the elbows at 90, you're gonna press down and I'm gonna try and press with this hand. One, two, three, and turn back. Press through, one, two, three. You don't have to work very hard. What you're gonna make sure is that you don't overstretch this external rotator cuff. Rotator cuff on the back of the shoulder. Just work a good range of movement, no pain. Back, press down, one, two, three. And every time, you should be able to get just slightly closer to the floor. Should be getting down there. As you press and work down towards the floor. Do six or seven or eight or nine on the one side, make sure the shoulders stay safe, do on the other side. Then we're gonna do a split T-spine rotation from here. And we get a bit, of, a bit of a stretch to the adductors. You're gonna press back, you're gonna press, and then you're gonna turn away from the body. One, two, three, and then keeping that side stretch, you're now gonna open up towards the body. One, two, three. And you're gonna stretch across the other side. Adductor stretch here, away from the leg. One, two, three, and then towards the leg. And then you're going to press back to the other side. And we're going to open up away. Turn. And then back side. And again, you're doing four, five, six reps on your side. Go back and do a second round of that internal, external lying rotation on the shoulders. And then do one more set on the split legs. That'll get your hips and shoulders and everything else nice and warm. Then we do a last little bit of shoulder prep. Last bit of, bit of shoulder prep work. For your big squat, burpee, jumping squat, wall ball day today, we do 10 air squats, 10 reverse lunges, 10 burpees, and we do three rounds of that. 10, 10, 10. Do air squats is good. If you can't do lunges, do sit ups. If you can't do burpees, do kickbacks. Give yourself three rounds of that. That should give you ready for the workout when you feel ready. Choose which option you're going to do here. Remember, try and hit the 150 if you can. Air squat to burpees. Squat jumps or air squats. If you've got a wall ball, use a wall ball. If you need to scale your reps down, scale your reps down. That's your Monday workout, okay? It's a good start to a good week, and we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday.